Hey guys, so I just want to make a very quick update video here because there is happening some interesting things over here. Um, so we have this uh, like render here that some people are saying that this is not the Samsung Galaxy S3. And now I'm getting people like, or at least one uh, person here that's saying, and the phone will look like this because I saw this version at CES 2012 where Samsung showed a presentation of their super old LED TV. So, um, Okay, so he did see this version here, this image here, uh, from CES. If any more people could confirm that, then that would be kind of interesting, because if this is the real deal, then this is probably the next either Samsung Galaxy Note or the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, and it's probably then the Galaxy S3 running TouchWiz UI 5.0. Uh, on Android 4.0.3 or something like that and uh, having 4G speeds uh, no home button um, yeah that is pretty interesting uh, so is this a you know have people really seen this I think that that you know that could be the case and then also we have that other GT i9500 uh, video uh, of that other uh, kind of thing that could be the next uh, generation uh, but actually you know if you go to Android devices right now uh, that's a website uh, they have posted like a new uh, like leaked specs uh, that apparently has been leaked uh, by some kind of page the official galaxy page something uh, and where they were talking about the specs uh, that the galaxy s3 is going to have so i'm not sure what the official galaxy s page means uh, but according to those specs it's going to have one and a half gigabytes of ram that's good uh never heard of a phone right now i think that has one, over one gigabyte of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage and you know SD cards of course, but 32 gigabytes that's good because the only thing is a 16 gigabyte version right now out of the Samsung Galaxy S3, um, and of course the SD card slot so that basically means that you will have be able to have like over 100 gigs in your smartphone, uh, 4.65 Super AMOLED 3 display, um, so not Super AMOLED. Plus Super AMOLED 3 display. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, also, we've heard these rumors about 12 megapixel camera and stuff like that. Uh, but at least it seems like it's gonna have like a 10 megapixel camera, 1080p, and uh, damn, 60 FPS. I think that could be a record or something. Uh, if you talk about milliamps, it's almost like Samsung Galaxy Note. It seems uh, 2250, but that may not be that impressive. You know, when we have the new Droid Razer Max, that's being launched with 3,300 milliamps. That's insane. Uh, NFC, that's good. Uh, it's gonna have that. Then you can use, you know, fully used Android features in Android 4.0, like the NFC, like the beam feature. Um, and then obviously TouchWiz 5.0. So is this how TouchWiz 5.0 is going to look like? That could be the case. Also, you can see that they've changed the Samsung logo from the bottom or from the top to the bottom okay I'm not sure if I like that because you know I like it clean at the bottom I suppose but I don't think that may not be a big big of a deal uh, also what we can see here is that it have that little more galaxy note uh, kind of design at least on the sides on the, on the curves I think yeah wait a sec um, yeah uh, it, it's it's a little more curved uh, as the galaxy note is um, so yeah it would be interesting if, if we could see the bottom of this device because if, if it would have a have it like a stars over there then we could you know absolutely like confirm that it's probably a galaxy note in the future but you know if this was you know really showcased on on the CES 2012 uh, you know in a video or something like that then that's kind of badass because then it's probably the real deal, not like a concept. Uh, I don't think uh, Sammy would uh, showcase concepts, but uh, yeah, that's interesting. So next month, Mobile World Congress, I hope you will be there because yeah, interesting. See you.